Hey there, all of my Capricorn people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 15th, 2024. And just a quick reminder, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what's your astro weather look like for this week? Well, on the 17th, We've got a full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is opening up a three-month influence window for your third house of communications, pacts, promises, contracts, commitments, allies, and your peer group to go through some major transitions and chapter changes. Now, this full moon lunar eclipse can be wonderful for ending any kind of contracts, commitments, or obligations that have been maybe binding you to certain accounts, certain people, or certain paths that are no longer actually doing you any good. This can also be a period where something about you or something that you're putting out there, whether you're trying to market it or promote it, is going to start to pick up speed very, very fast. It's a great uh, lunar eclipse for spreading the word, boosting your popularity. But you may run into some pushback, especially in situations where maybe certain contracts or commitments that are coming up to end for your good could be having some resistance to that transition from the other side. On the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, we've got the Sun in Virgo trying to Uranus in Taurus, however making an opposition to Neptune in Pisces. And so this is spelling a very important surprise win on the personal life front, especially something that is going to allow some kind of dream to be realized or some kind of special adventure to be embarked on, either with a romantic partner or one of your kids, or perhaps a new romantic opportunity could be getting worked into your life as we go through the rest of September. However, there is an opposition to a current obligation or a, you know, a challenge to a current obligation that may be limiting your freedom of movement that will need to be looked over and some difficult decisions may have to be made about that. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, here's your traffic, Capricorn. And it looks like for your Earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the chariot upright. And so the chariot is one of the best cards we can get in this category because this is all about a victory or a win that is helping us to topple or overcome some kind of obstacle or stagnant condition that we've been in. The chariot card upright says you're probably going to be asked or pushed to be where a lot of up and coming good news is coming along financially and professionally speaking. And you may be getting a bit of the MVP treatment, whether you are getting this kind of treatment at your job or maybe with something new that you are looking to go into. Just keep in mind with the chariot card, this could also indicate a week where you need to kind of be in work mode a lot more because, of course, as a champion and a victor in this situation, you're going to need to be present. For your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the Eight of Swords upright in your air sector. Now, the Eight of Swords upright can indicate uh, a problem that gets started because of somebody who is choosing to stay paralyzed or stuck in their ways or hold themselves in a space where they are not actually doing any good for themselves or others. This can indicate somebody trying to become a roadblock on purpose or somebody that is slowing things up because they're digging in their heels with something they will just not let go. They will not get over. They will not get in sync with other people. And you may need to go on without this person's participation or move past this without them, at least for the time being. For your challenge this week, you've got the Empress upright. And the Empress is a challenge is kind of interesting because it's actually a really good card. The Empress is all about wealth, abundance, good fortune, environmental changes for the better, as well as long-term security. And when we have this card show up as a, a challenge, this can sometimes show up where we need to be ready to allow for changes to our environment, our social roster, 
to go through an improvement, even if we may have certain attachments, histories, loyalties, or uh, foci linked to old stuff that might not necessarily be good for us. The Empress card upright can indicate a big lift up in your life, but you need to be okay with letting go of certain environmental conditions, social environmental, literal environmental, or figurative, that uh, may actually be the reason for a lot of holdups or problems in your life staying still and staying the same. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Knight of Pentacles upright. And so the Knight of Pentacles is a very interesting card in love because this indicates romance getting stronger through work, through productivity, through drive and ambition. The Knight of Pentacles, for those of you who are coupled, are likely going to f is likely going to show up as you and a partner becoming a lot closer by building on the friendship that you have as you go through accomplishing some kind of major goal or priority. This is about going on an adventure with your partner and bonding over the platonic intimacy and then turning into uh, turning that into deeper romantic in, uh, intimacy. And this could also indicate some really good news coming to you and a partner on a financial level as well. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this could indicate, yes, absolutely, a very strong, very stalwart and very hardworking individual coming into your life or maybe becoming more uh, recognized in your life. This is somebody that we would be starting off building on, working on the friendship first. The Knight of Pentacles doesn't do the typical, you know, date, you know, mating dance, cookie cutter formula. This is also somebody I feel like you would want to make sure that you understand you're going to bond over your ambitions with. This is somebody who's going to bring uh, the BFF in a partner first and then become the hot lover later. And for your spiritual advice and your guidance, you've got the King of Swords upright. This is a week where you need to think more with your head than with your feels, because a lot of good things are happening to you, but if you are overly attached to the sentimentality of history, or maybe just patterns of the past, we might end up getting locked up in situations that the Eight of Swords and the Empress are trying to warn you about getting locked up in. Know when to be a lot more clear-headed, maybe think a little bit more left-brained than right-brained as we go through this week. Not all the time, right? The ideal is the balance between the two, but make sure that you are not making important decisions with feelings that could be contaminated with attachments and be more clear-headed. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can, of course, go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <music>